Hello and welcome to another Monday morning art talk. So what are we going to talk about today? Today's topic is just about tapping into a realization that I had when I was younger or maybe even older. I really almost just thought about it not too long ago where what I realized was in my life I was so bad academically like it was just very hard for me just to even study and and comprehend things and that's really been my overall biggest struggle in life I would say was academic aspects and that could tie into figure drawing where understanding all the bones in the body and all that I just I just don't you know, get it. I mean, not that I don't get it. It's just hard for me really to think about. I, I just like to break everything up into its simplicity, whether here's the elbow, here's the wrist, here's, you know, the neck, um, instead of its scientific terms or anything else. Uh, I came about just really observation um, as I'm as I'm working on things. And something that I realized too was academically, when I was growing up in England, they had a rating system in the classroom. You always you always knew where you stood um, in the class, whether if you were the smartest kid in the class, where on your report card, it'd be from like say number one to number 40 um, of the amount of students. And if you got like number one, so, oh, Sarah, she's the number one student. Wow. She's got the best grades. And me and my twin brother, my twin brother and I, <laughs> however you kind of want to say it, were always number 39 or 40. And we bounced between the two of us. So we were always the dumbest kids in the class and, and everyone sort of knew. And it was kind of weird. And you thought, man, that's pretty messed up. And it kind of was, um, it was, it was really almost just a, a, a really horrible, horrible thing. Um, and then I realized just recently, you know what? I was never supposed to be, um, that academic student. My, you know, my kids are very intelligent and, and they're smart and they get good grades and, and they're so much smarter than I am to where I can't even help them with their homework. I, I had to pretty much stop helping them with their homework as sad as it is to say when they're in about uh, fourth, fifth grade, because at that point I could just no longer, uh, you know, it's like, wow, this math and everything. Oh my God, this is, this is way, this is way beyond me. I, I can't do this anymore, kids. And that was always my biggest fear. One of them in life was, oh my God, how am I going to help my kids with their homework? And I realized, you know what? Get a smart wife and you don't have to think about it. And, and that's what I did. Um, and it was really one of those things where, yeah, for me, my, my life's journey wasn't about academia. My life's journey wasn't about becoming a, a doctor, a lawyer, or anything else. My life's journey was about just learning how to draw and become an artist. That's what I did. And also just learning how to uh, be a teacher. And that's something that I take pride in because it's something that I realized that I love to do, but a teacher of art, not a teacher of anything. I'm not going to teach you math. I'm not going to teach you uh, anything that is going to be so advanced in, in, in an academic world that it's I'm, I'm not going to be able to teach it and I'm just going to be looking at other people's books and information and teaching other people's lessons. Um, I, I don't want to do that. I, I don't believe in that. I just kind of want to teach from experience. I want to teach from things that I, I understand and that I know. And that's what my life's journey is. And that's what you need to discover really for yourself is what is that thing that you that make that you do excel at that that you're good at don't try to be anyone else or live up to anyone else's expectations and, and do what other people are do or are following that path because it's it's not going to work out for you i can honestly say you're just going to be miserable you're going to be unhappy um it's not it's not part of your calling and your job is to find out what that purpose is but how you find out what that purpose is is really just through all your own experiences and that's what art is art is about experiences what is that um art is about experiences art is about your own um per <laughs> personal journey that you're going to go through your own personal things that you learn um, where i found to see many teachers they're not teaching what they uh from what they know 
Okay, so it becomes hard and there's no truth to it. So it comes down to the truth of the matter of what you're trying to express. So try, maybe you are academically smart. Maybe that is something that you um, strive in and education was always something you took pride in and you're good at, but you love art too. Maybe you love music. Maybe you love dance, but you want to do art. And I think the best thing for you to do at that point is take your, whatever that skill is, that, that, that idea, that uh, thing that you uh, strive at or you, you're, you've perfected, whatever it may be, but now how do I influence that into my own personal artwork? How can I take the knowledge of my skill that I acquired as, a, as an algebra teacher or, or just math or anything and maybe tie it into something that deals with art that can become relatable? So now you're mixing um, an element of something you excel here and an element of something you're excelling here and you start to collide those forces and that becomes part of your purpose and your journey. So whatever that you've maybe experienced or gone through in your life, maybe you were a security guard uh, at a place and now, now you hate it and you don't want to do that um, anymore. It's just not what you're cut out to do. But what, were there any stories um, that really you could use as a, as a storytelling aspect? Is there something uh, there that can, that other people don't know about? What, what, what is the life of a security artist? What do you, I mean, a security um, uh, 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 police guy. See, look at me. I'm as I, this is why it's, it's kind of hard for me to draw and talk at the same time. And I don't know how much longer I can almost do this, if this is going to work out or not. I'm trying it. I'm experiencing, experiencing something new. I'm trying to see what I can do here. If I could talk and draw at the same time and man, it's difficult. Um, and I don't want to go through all the editing and I don't want to do my drawing and then record my voice after. It's just not going to, uh, work as well for me. Um, but I, I think that's something just to really c consider when you're uh, thinking about where your path is, where you currently are in your, uh, in your life right now. If it's not exactly what you want to be doing and you know in your mind that you really want to do art and make this, this a living. Once again, the most important thing for you to do is to set goals for yourself. Don't worry about your future outcomes. Don't worry about where, where you're going to be um, one day or someday and how it's going to pan out and how it's going to work out and what's actually going to happen and if it's going to go a certain way or not because you, the reality is you just don't know. And, and why, why sort of stress yourself out? Why, why do that to yourself? Because you're just going to drive yourself um, insane and you just don't want to do that. So make sure that you really, um, you know, just, just take whatever that you sort of have that knowledge pursue it, find a direction, find a path. I advise, I think it's so important just to try to learn something new every day. I don't care if it's art related or not. Maybe learn something about marketing, learn something about business, learn something about someone else's life, uh, whatever that may be. These are the sort of things that you want to uh, really do. And I, and I think that's an important part of life is, of course, growth, like a, like a little seed that you plant into that little ground there. If we don't put some, you know, water and sprinkle a little water on it and nourish it, well, it's not going to grow to become that little plant that's going to just start to grow and eventually become that tree uh, that we want it to become. Um, the only way it gets there is through that uh, nurturing and through that love that you're going to, um, you would just sort of really uh, put into it. Okay. So I think that's very important. And that's really what this art talk was about today was just taking, knowing what maybe your true purpose is in life and really just trying to discover that and really um, don't listen to what people think you're supposed to be or do in your life. Try to find that that direction that that is going to bring you that joy and bring you that happiness. For me, it became teaching is my is my greatest joy and my, my greatest happiness that I find just so engaging and thrilling. I, I don't care about, um, you know, I love doing freelance. I love working for the studios, but I don't care about getting, you know, uh, 
you know, that sort of um, notoriety in a way I think I never have. I think it's just happened in ways and I've been a, uh, been just uh, very, I don't want to say lucky, I don't want to use that word lucky, uh, but I've been very fortunate in the way to do the things that I've done and, and be a part of the studios and meet the people that I've met. But I think I like to say that's through my own persistence that has, has really pushed me there and got me there upon my journey. So that's that's what I would say. That's what this is about. Again, sorry for the up and down in this. This became a lot more challenging than I thought. Uh, drawing and uh, talking at the same time and trying to keep a consistent uh, train of thought in my conversation. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Hello, this is Steven, and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. In a sense, what I want to do is just talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life, see if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey, all right? So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> go. go back. Go back. Go back. Great. Go back. Go back.